Hi, I'm Gina Jampicho with the Gina Jampicho team. Thanks for joining my blog today. Today we're going to be discussing what questions you should ask a listing agent during a listing presentation. Before we begin, I would like to draw your attention to the two links on my blog. First, if you're looking to sell your home, click the free home value report link. If you're looking to buy, click the search all homes for sale where you can access the most up-to-date information on homes for sale in the area. Now back to our blog. What questions should you ask during a listing presentation to the agent? Well, there's quite a few. One, what is their home sale prices? What is their days on market? What is their list to sale ratio? So if you have somebody that has 50 listings, their average day on the market is 300, and their price to ratio ends up being 87%, well, that already tells you that that is not a good ratio for you to have in your corner. You need somebody that has days on market is under 30. Their list to sale ratio is at least 97%. That means they're pricing your home properly. Another question you should ask is what kind of exposure are you going to give my home? What websites will it be on? Websites will drive the traffic to the house, but also what else do they do besides websites? Do they work with other agents? Do they market to other agents? That's a big thing. Remember, the market is out there to get buyers to look at your home, but that buyer will then call an agent. So the agents also need to know that your home is available. Another question, do you do open houses and why? Open houses are not effective. Most open houses are there for the agent to get more business, meaning other sellers come and see what they're doing. They pick up buyers that aren't interested in your home. And the Big problem is, is most open houses bring in nothing but unqualified buyers that just want to snoop and look at your home. Your home is for sale. In today's market, you're able to see your home on the internet and know exactly what it looks like. You're able to use Google Earth and Google Maps to see what street it's on. You're also able to see the price. If somebody is very serious about seeing your home, they're going to make a private appointment for you. They're not going to come to an open house. The other thing that you should ask an agent is, what factors are going to raise the value in my home? Is there something I can do that's going to make my house worth more money? That agent should be able to tell you and have the contractors available for you to do those repairs. And then lastly, what is it about my home that's going to make buyers not like it? There's things that are going to deter away from your home. Like if you have a pool, not everybody wants a pool, especially in Western Pennsylvania when you can only use a pool three months out of the year. That is not always the best selling feature of your home. Other things that if you have worn carpet or you have bad countertops and you're not willing to change these items, that is going to deter buyers away from your home. So these are the things that you need to discuss when you're making up the price for your home. And these are the answers that your agent should be able to give you without thinking too much or saying, I have to get back to you on that. Thank you. That's it for today's topic. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call me. And until next time, have a great day.